Hey guys, Tyrant here bringing you a 3v3 today. We are on Port of Hamburg. Playing today spawning in the south. We have a uh, Kozen Tori. I think it's us there who has spearhead. Elite troops. And German mechanized. Teaming up with him, we have Sturm Panther playing as Ossie as well, who has Spearhead, Egg Armor, and Lightning War. And finally, the amazing Space Genius, also as Ossie, who has close air support, Egg Armor, and German Mechanized. Based off against them, we have Full Mean Machine. Playing as the Brits, straight away locking into special weapons. Gornyak playing as Soviets, straight away locking into counter attack. And uh, here comes the anime. Playing as Soviets as well, straight away locking into mechanized support. Pretty uh, standard roster of uh, command sections there for the Allies. Tommy's getting forced away early. In terms of ranks, uh, the random team here, Sturm Panther rank 2. Oh, I forget which way around it is. The other two players, one of them's about rank 10, the other's about rank 200. And back the other way, we've got an arranged team around rank 60. So, you know, ranged team versus randoms. Two good players and one slightly worse player versus three players, I'm not sure what their assistance is, oh boy, Tommy's almost getting the wipe there, lucky escape there for the amazing space genius, meanwhile the push forwards into this building, got control of that with the MG locking it down, got a mortar coming out to count, counter it, and here comes the anime, and we've got an early sniper here for Gornyak. Interesting decision. Now we've got a mortar for Sturm Panther. Very early mortar to a very early sniper. So he's a uh, very heavily <laughs> this in support weapons and uh, snipers doesn't have almost any infantry. I feel like generally maybe Port of Hamburg a little bit small for four v fours, but. Be all right for three v threes. A little bit more room to maneuver. Smoked out the building. Machine gun came forwards into the heavy cover. About a flame we're getting on top of there. The Maxim maybe going to be able to get suppression. No switching targets over to the Grandies, but they've already made it into heavy cover. And this one's uh, getting a full flank. Back in the centre, snipers going to work. This one coming in, maybe going to look for the counter snipe opportunity. Machine gun looks like it's finally going to get forced away here. Might have left it slightly too late. One more flame burst. Ooh, he switched targets. Might have been able to get the wipe otherwise there. Now the Maxim getting flanked by this Pioneer. Needs to keep a little bit of pressure on with the Grandiers as well. More repositioning. Sniper in the middle. Not behind cover yet, but is hidden from view. Maybe going to try bait the opposing Sniper over here with this low machine gun. Look for the counter Sniper. But not much cover around here as he tries to move around. No, it's going to open up and reveal it. Both players, or well, both teams now, aware that they could be counter sniped. Should be extremely low, but the mortar and sniper forcing it away. And you know, there are quite a few like choke points on this map, which are very well covered by machine guns, so I think it is important to get an early counter, either a sniper or a mortar. I'm not sure if you. Oh, You need quite as many as this. Maybe you could come over to assist your opponent, but it never hurts. 
good snipe in there. Looks like the opposing sniper wants to close the distance. He makes it back into the cover. Ooh! Doesn't quite have sight, even though that's his range. Doesn't have the sight bonus up until the uh, sniper's actual range, so can't quite see it there. Very, very close call, though. And this sniper getting off to a great start. Five kills already. Backing this up with a super fast 2-2-2 two -two -two now. Five man upgrade for full mean machine. Also getting the weapon racks already. Makes me think he's probably not going to go for an AC. But as is the case, you know, in a lot of these team games, fuel. I think it's been disconnected or neutralized the entire match by either team, so fuel income very steady. Using to uh, quite high resource income overall. Be careful, this machine gun could potentially reveal the sniper, I believe. The Grandies are close enough to it. Two to two. two. And mine going down for Gornia. Good choice. In fact, he's got a lot of mines down this area. The mortar once again forcing the machine gun away. Not revealing a snipe here. Maybe worried about the cow snipe, but is providing sight for the mortar to get the work done. And the allies do manage to branch out here. Gonna capture the southern fuel. Goes in uh, struggling a little bit down here. Oh boy, this could be trouble. Demo on the building? No, doesn't run into it. And he's actually gone for an unusual choice, a mortar half track. Oh, he's gonna jump in. That's demo time, baby. Very slow activation, but it's not gonna matter. Can't get out in time. Machine gun goes down, adding to his woes. Constant through going forward, Molotov. Onto the machine gun, unusual sight. Got a uh, very early machine gun bunker here covering this VP as well. 222 here to help propel the shock troops. Actually, uh, AT, I'm blasting through that bunker. Shock troops just could go down here potentially. Uh, looks like the machine gun bunker was reloading at that stage, so didn't get any shots in. And 222 also not going for the chase, didn't want to get blasted down by that six pounder. Playing cautiously. Yeah, the issue down here, Kozen seems to be having trouble just holding the line long enough. Let the mortar half track get those hits in and turn the tide. Because 222 guards already quite low, so 222 should be able to force them away here. But finally branching out to the south to assist the cap. Oh, here comes the anime. Actually, has a T grenade already. Gets one off. Almost getting the kill on the guards, but able to chase with that damage engine too low in health as well to do so safely and back the other side of the map though Axis finally branching out getting control of the fuel up here bringing the sweeper up as well We're gonna spot a whole bunch of these mines looks like a uh, stern panther did lose a sniper at one stage I did miss that the enemy is taking our territory what? but now he's a uh, Got a lot of float after that. Gonna invest in some Panzer Grandiers and another sniper. Okay, good choice. Finally getting through that float. Smoke onto the machine gun. Oh boy, big bundle grenade. Machine gun gonna go down here. He brings on the charge. Oh, and the mortar shell wipes out the conscripts. What of a turn of events. Tori. 
taking control here. Oh, speaking of grenades, onto machine guns. G42 not being retreated here at all. And the Tommy's ripping through and now maybe going after the pack as well. Sleep at the wheel. We've got a mortar pit going back there for a full mean machine. Okay, now we've got some LMGs. This green deer, so they're able to hold their own. And maybe you're gonna go for the steel on the Maxim, could be a decent option. Two machine guns can lock down this entire area very well. In fact, he's putting down some wide there, which is actually a pretty good idea. Locking off that flank a little bit. Recon plane up for Gornyak, maybe spotting for the mortar pit. Oh! Good one uh, <laughs> pioneer model there, I'm not entirely sure. 222 getting that kill. Good rough grenade in there. I don't know whose mine that was, but I got triggered. G42 try to set up here. Looks like conscripts should be able to make it into the building. Suppressed and the mortar pit just blasting through these squads. Oh, and another mine. I'd say that was definitely uh, an allied mine that got triggered here as well. Loses the Panzer Grenadiers already. And didn't last long. And the conscripts going forwards. We've got AT grenades on these already. Two of them not going to quite do the trick though. It needs a third or a bit of. Small arms follow up. But Axe is really getting overwhelmed here through the middle. As watches for Stem Panther starting to stack up now. Amazing Space Gene is also not investing into LMGs yet, which I think is a mistake. Just been his munitions. Oftentimes, when I'm like, man, why am I losing this game so badly as Ossie? It's because I'm not upgrading those LMGs as soon as possible. Fresh sniper, quite deep into enemy territory here. Maybe looking for the counter snipe opportunity, and they're not really that close to each other. It's not going to come good. A reasonably safe position here, though. They shouldn't get revealed, especially if he stands around here. Does this have enhanced detection radius? I'm not sure. I think it's not spotting the sniper yet, if it does. So we've got a mass of cash is going down for the amazing space genius, perhaps explaining why the axes are getting pushed back so hard at the moment. Just jump out to losing a few units, space genius. Not investing that heavily into squads. It's done a struggle in the middle because of that. Now uh, losing the south again, we've got cash down as well from the allies, munitions. Uh, Vickers upgrade there. Oh, sniper getting revealed by the plane and gets knocked down there. Scout plane revealing the sniper, I believe it was. No, that's actually not his. It's Doom Panther's plane. How do they get revealed then? No idea how that sniper got revealed. That is dead now. Branching out to the northern VP and uh, fuel area, but it looks like that's still covered by the mortar pit. Maybe not in the water fire range, but by the barrage. 52 coming in. So the machine gun still gonna mine there. Gotta be careful. Scenery uh, shots coming in here from the mortar half track, forcing the team weapons to reposition, but. Maybe a little bit of waste of munitions. Ooh! Try to reinforce from the half track. Almost loses the machine gun. The big mortar shell. Oh. Right in from the conscripts. Why an AT grenade? Can't finish the job on it. 
And here we go, first tank. It's going to be a Flak Panzer for Space Genius. So I have tier 3 down for Kozin. He's also uh, going for a Flak Panzer. Oh, was that a friendly mine getting triggered there? I think a squad going down to it. I've tried getting away very close, cool. Looks like the allies have regathered the north. Space Genius, uh, a little bit light on infantry now. Yeah, overall these tanks coming in quite late for the Axis. In the field when they have about 100 in reserve. If you're going to rush tier 3, you can hit that timing a little bit more aggressively to maximize it, but back the other way. Ally is also quite late getting their tech down. See, here comes the anime, only putting his tier 4 tech down now. Also, could have had a tank out a very long time ago. But uh, overall, a pretty high command point game so far. A lot of action, a lot of wipes contributing to that. Got tier 4 down for uh, Gorn yet. Didn't really see any ally like vehicles, no T70s this game. Which has helped the Axis, even though Axis did get a whole bunch of packs just in case. So Stern Panther locking into Jaeger Armor, gonna go for the Elephant. Combo up with the Brumbeer. Very powerful in team games. Amazing uh, space Jesus. Investing into another machine gun here. Don't know how effective that's gonna be. Even the uh, mortar pit at the moment. And at the moment. The Allied Infantry is just overwhelming. So many squad wipes on the side of the Axis starting to stack up now. But at least in the south, Kozentori has managed to regather the fuel and even pushing in a little bit aggressively here. Looks like here comes the enemy maybe trying to go straight for the ISU 152, but still four command points away from that, so. Oh no, investing into a Kachusha. Why does I say that? Fair choice. I mean, he's got these this. Got conscripts for AT grenades and the guards. Should be able to hang on there. It's the flak panzer. And yeah, he's up against, you know, double machine guns, double AT guns, so. A uh, fair choice in the Kachusha. Start beating that up early. Just on a whole fire here, going for those tech ground shots. But the Atigo was in a nice position to repel it and penetrates on the first two shots. And this mortar pit, man, only six kills, but I feel like it's been doing a lot of damage. Last year, recon plane up. Cools in. Track. Let's come in. Pull back with the smoke just in case. Five man double green Tommy's performing well here. Oh, here comes a KV1 from uh, Gorniak. Looking for the Flak Panzer kill. Needed one more shot for that though. And didn't chase in after it. I think he. Could have got one more shot off whether that would have landed on the move close to max range. Unsure, so he goes to the safe option, pulling back. No worth for coming in. Oh, what a crazy good worth for Barrage. From that range, that is just like incredibly good luck. With the scatter. And uh, rather confusingly, Gorniak going for a Kachusha. 
Let's see the B4. It's up against, you know, Recon Plane plus Stuka Dive Bomb, I suppose, but... Generally, we still get one. Amazing Space Genie is now investing into a howitzer. so that should be really good against this half-track team weapon style play from Gornyak. And a few kills to start things off there. Axis getting off to a really strong start in terms of their indirect fire. Quite as well for them. Do have the IL-2 later on though. Econ plane plus IL-2 bombing to knock out that howitzer as well, so might not last too long. But I think it's a good choice. Allies are playing quite a static style, especially you know, with the mortar pit, all these weapons around here with their half tracks. So it should perform pretty well. Ooh, big Katusha coming through. This genius trying to run through it to dodge, but ends up losing one grand here. Axis uh, really struggling now. We've got a comet on the fear for mean machine. <laughs> Reinforce that AT gun. Lost it. Oh, big shot on the wrong side of cover there. Comet gonna look for the white maybe. Super low. Oh, gets out in time. Trying to get in position, but Comet constantly switching sides. Having trouble getting past this wall. and comes his teammates. Get one shot in there. And in comes the Flak Panzer. Takes two hits. One from the Comet. And we've got some Piets here with the Snare. Just needs one more pit to connect, and there we go. Flat pants are down. He did have a recon plane up in the air. Could have seen the position of all those units. And here comes the comet actually finding a window. Get some shots on the LFH. And he's gone drop the concentrated fire operation on this. I don't remember what the scatter pattern is like on this. Oh boy! Well, uh, that was a huge blow. I think that was just a bad throw again. Losing two units for the concentrated fire operation. Maybe didn't see the smoke for that. It's the D crew on the LFH, but will it get the kill? Looks like it got the kill maybe on the pack that was over there. Oh, and there we go, it gets the howitzer as well. So that was a devastating concentrated fire operation, one of the best I've seen. About four kills with that. Four unit wipes. He's a little bit low, tries to recruit There's this right in front of it though with two LMG Grandiers there as well. Pack also looking for the kill on the decrease this and gets it. Squad down, here comes the anime, this last phase of the stool for the 152, extremely costly, lost a lot of units. But he's got it now, 152 is out. See if it can uh, turn things around. Going to be extremely effective against the double packs. Calls him. It's a bunker buster barrage, is it? No. Gonna be a little bit low. Investing. In, uh, Another squad Pyro's Comet going in. I think it's two more shots to kill the Brumbier here though. But there's not enough supporting anti-tank. No AT gun for Sturm Panther. If you 
was, you know, trying to save for his elephant. He's just about there. Didn't want to invest him into a pack. In fact, maybe he just had a decruit. And the combat escape now. Strug looking for the kill on the rear arm. And he's one more hit, though, and doesn't chase. This opportunity there. Against the combat's frontal armor would have stood no chance, I would say. But against the rear armor would have been worth it, even if he lost the Stug. Good trade up. But, you know, five or so fuel to go, and then the elephant arrives. Let's see if that can turn things around for the Axis, because they are way behind right now. Constantly losing control of their fuel, almost no control of the middle after the first ten minutes. In trouble. This half-track play has been working out pretty well for the Allies so far. Damage there from the Werfer. Vet 1 now. It's ready 5 to back up the KV. Oh, the quad just shot that down immediately. Ooh, big Stuka dive bomb. Takes down the Comet. Two squads. Almost got the Kachusha as well. Monster shot there. And here comes the elephant. You can't play not up in the air. If it doesn't have spawning scopes yet. KV1 looking for a flank here, but it's extremely slow. And then comes a Stug in support. KV in a bit of trouble. Stug going to chase after the SU-85 though. And he knocks it out. Now switching targets back to the KV, which is just way too slow to try and get this flank on the elephant. Stug ripping in there, in comes the pack. I think maybe finishing the job. Picking D crew by the Molotov. Oh, fish comet back there. Double Stug, I think, should be able to hold this ground. Machine gun upgrade on this one, chipping in for a little bit of damage. Conscript's looking for the AT grenade on the elephant. Interesting choice. Oh, machine gun coming in from here. He's pushing in. Some combat in the uh, south. Tiger versus ISU-152. And man, this Tiger's getting off to a great start. Blasting through the 152. Could switch over to armor piercing on that. He's pulling all the way back for repairs. Only got one squad of combat engineers and the conscript squad just went down there. But here comes the enemy. But either way, the Allies still in control of two VPs. Texas uh, need to get something going fast. Interesting choice, rebuilding conscripts now instead of going for more repairs. Does have VET 2 on those combat engineers though, so at least they got their repair speed bonus. Oh, planes crashing from the skies. I guess he's trying to deploy some smoke, trying to open up the cap in the center and gets the neutralize. Elephant missing the first shot on the comet. Here comes the infantry behind this. And the infantry performing strongly here. Complete withdrawal though from the uh, anime. Oh. Long range worth of barrage and hits a good collection of units there. I feel like his scatter on that has been uh, pretty lucky so far. A 
Couple squads of infantry getting in deep here, but why is these points protected by caches? And uh, wow, he's going for an LMG Grenadier 250 to help repel this attack. We have a few mines down here for the Allies. So they snip through that wire to get across. Let's go try demo charge that cache. And there it goes. It's already with a good chunk of fuel though, don't really need the caches that much anymore. And now Target coming across to the middle. 17 pounder attempted but gets interrupted. That is a good counter to the elephant. Is that half track going down to the elephant I think? Smoke in planes crashing across the battlefield. Another warfare, this could be a good target. This time not connecting quite so strongly, getting two MG42 mods, but the AT gun gets out almost unscathed. Oh, really good warfare there. That's a 152, it's on armor piercing this time. The T guns getting the kill on the Stuck. They did manage to wipe out the mortar pit with that push though. Which is a good win for the Axis. Not going to push back hard though. Comet diving in, looking for the elephant kill, but it gets engine damage. And we've got some uh, concentrated fire operation coming down for the Allies as well. Likely to hit their own units here potentially. Dropped a little bit late in the battle. 5 2 coming across the bridge. Blasted by the elephant. We've got an AT gun here. Conscript Urang forwards. Oh man, the scatter on that concentrated fire operation giving me a heart attack. And then, oh, big connection. AT gun down. Oh boy. Got those got pea greens there. Oh, Axis. Well, they uh, ran over a whole bunch of mines, but are going to be able to cap in the north, slow the drain down to uh, 139 now. So they are up against it, but they got a lot of important kills there. Oh, another one. What was he doing with that Katusha so far forwards? Horrible play. Here comes the anime. And I uh, managed to complete the cap thanks to the smoke. But yeah, take a look at army sizes here. We've got 75, 33, and 88 versus 68, 34, and 41. So a large army size advantage for the Axis after that last battle. are covering the cell still. Oh, get going up here. Is that might be a machine gun there? They get my god of Vickers. Those recon planes getting shot down this game. It's chaos. The tiger getting up for another assault. We've got a firefly back there, currently behind the protection of the smoke. It's revealed elephant missing the first shot. Nice attack round attempts, but not connecting. 
Okay, I see you coming across the bridge again. It's a good shot on the Stug. That's the health of that bridge. Okay, bridge still pretty healthy. Is that an Isle 2 bombing run? I don't think it hit anything though. With a barrage. Oh, Firefly could go down if the elephant gets another hit in. Not quite in range. Getting the AT guns this time, getting the white. Getting the white for the axis to advance a little bit further forwards. But even though the tide is turning, it's just starting to pull ahead once the elephant arrives. Out uh, of the woods yet, still down to 123. Still got a long way to go to drain out the allies. Before going quad hunting, and he gets the kill there. It's already five, just getting hammered. Luckily, I think it's a fresh house and missing that shell. Very easily could have gone down there after taking those two elephant shots. Looks like he's going to commit to the south. If he can force these units away in the south, open up cap down there, that could be an avenue for the allies. Got the SU-85, should be able to tame the Tiger with that. Got the ISU-152, should be able to tame the AT guns with that. The ingredients are there, just comes down to execution. Pushing forwards here with the flak panzer. Oh, big word for Braj. Took down uh, two combat engineers there. They went for health, but it's a costly loss anyway. Nice capping again in the north. I've got the center again somehow. Axis with a lot of tanks, but not that many squads to cap at the moment. Comes in me playing very timidly with his uh, Sierra Five, probably worried about those double packs. What's that? A five two with the flare spotted for a nice touch. We built Bombier from Stone Panther here. Oh, there we go. 17 pounder down for a full mean machine. So that should help keep the elephant in check. Can't overextend with that too far now. Just going back the other way. What a wipe on the Zis. How's that worth it doing? 52 kills now. And three on the other. I feel like it had just. It's having a dream run just about this game. When I see Wolfers in 1v1 and 2v2 fight from similar range, they seem to do a lot less damage on average. They have so far this game. for going after the 17 pounder gets it to about half health but the Werfer got a little bit too close goes down to a return shot and you can use the flare on that now we'll be able to hit the elephant here comes the infantry Get the elephant pulled back a little bit for trying to repel elephant back there. Oh, he's just going in for a suicidal charge. He 
This is couple munitions for IL-2 bombing run. No. Oh my god. What was that? That was horrible play. Gornyak seems very intent on throwing his tanks away this game. Didn't even manage to get the Stoop kill there with the SU-85 either. Tiger pushing forwards aggressively here. 152 on high explosive. This is switch around. This doesn't have much support at the moment. Double packs. Blasting away. Oh. We're going down there. Concentrate fire operation. Taking down the pack in the back lines. The 17 pounder has done uh, some good work so far. Good shot from the gun there. Scatter on that concentrate fire operation. This is on the drain again. One tin remaining. Be careful here. The elephants okay, still in a similar location. Okay, X is making a charge here. Pounder somehow getting a shot here on the elephant. Looks like it was out of range. Griff coming in, brace. Oh, gets the white blast rocket. She just retreated. Got out of there. Oh, piece connecting. And gun crit. We're losing a capture point. Okay, looks like the tiger gearing up for a bit of a push here. Got the recon plane up in the air. Ready five is there though. X are uh, not in support. And with a uh, 17 pounder low, but he's got engineers there for the repairs. Comes some infantry behind this though. It's ready five and nice you very poorly handled. But now finally getting some shots on the tiger, forcing it back. Super dive bomb. No brace. It was uh, on cooldown. That didn't quite do enough damage. 17 pounder still alive. Maybe the Werfer can finish that. Oh, two comedies is repairing it. Get out in time. Take our minimal losses. That's a big wipe. 17 pounder should open up the elephant to get him a bit more aggressive. Axe is trying to push onto the uh, northern VP area here. A little bit of that pressure. And now uh, Alan is, what's he doing here? He's pushing forwards another time. With the T-34. This time not going for a suicidal charge. Back the other side. He's 85 A little bit overextending. Still not using this on AP ammo. Despite being facing against the Tiger for such a long time now. How are we getting to work? Security 5 in trouble. Faust connecting, overextending. Elephant finishing the job. Comes the T 34, probably looking for another suicidal ram. But the Firefly manages to finish the job. Will it get revenge? Killed by the elephant? No, it gets out just in time. Ooh, there we go. Big white from the Katusha. Oh, both squads. They really wanted to cap the VP, but couldn't quite get the job done. Quite nearby. Could uh, win that engagement, but no. So I've got a bunker covering this bridge. Which is a good idea. Roof a dodge there by the shockies in the north. Nice down. 300. Interesting choice here going for the tank hunter section. Great game. Oh boy, here we go. Tiger coming in. 
P4 looking for the flank on the SU-85. We've got conscripts nearby. Needs to bring them over for the sneer. Here they come. P4, one more shot. Could potentially bounce here though. Or miss. Nope. And Tiger finding a sneaky angle. A shot on the other vehicle. He actually lost his eyes. You, how the hell did that happen? Well, there it is. I imagine it went down to the double packs tiger combo, but I've not been impressed with yeah, like tank control so far this game. But, ooh, there we go, B4 up. Not quite enough for the recon plane bone run combo. But he could make his teammate smoke drop to uh, reveal the howitzer. I think, you know, if the Allies can get another 17 pounder down, that will be huge for them. It's that elephant that's causing them so many issues through the middle. Shot off. Elephant not quite facing the correct direction here. Ooh! Manages to find the worth of coming forwards for a barrage. Just took a dive bomb in the back. Looks like it took down the B4. And there we go, elephant coming forwards. But uh, look at this. We've got 93, 32. And 91 versus 38, 54, 46. A ginormous lead now for the Axis. Way ahead in army size. And honestly, I think a lot of it has to do with Gornyak just kind of throwing his tanks away most of the time. Every time he gets a T-34, he just drives it forwards and goes for a ram. And without much thought to a follow-up you know no R2 bombing run coming in no concentrated fire operation it's not like it was a well-coordinated attack speaking off <laughs> okay this time this time we got some artillery coming down but close to the middle of the map artillery coming down a little bit too slowly elephant had plenty of time to dodge Pick up the 222 though, so it's helpful getting over a bit of the anti air. Maybe the recon plans can be a bit more useful now, or maybe not because there's flat pans are actually. Flat pans are oh boy, what happened over here? Engine damage on both of these tanks. Looks like the Panzer IV is going to go down. What about the Tiger? Double packs coming up. Should uh, keep it alive and uh, protect it as well. Doesn't have a Katusha, so I can't really deal with these. Got a uh, crocodile from Full Mean Machine. I'm not entirely sure why he went for that. Very, very vulnerable to the elephant. Do kind of wish they had another 17 pounder. Finding a room to put one of those down in a relevant position may be tricky at this stage. Oh, Panzerwerfer are coming super far forwards here. Oh, the crocodile wants to come to finish it off, but maybe the elephant with the uh, spotting scopes. Two of that. <laughs> Worth it coming in, maybe on these engineers playing the mine. Triggers the mine squad goes down. Panther now for Space Jesus. And this howitzer has been uh, sitting around for a while. It hasn't been connecting too much, but. It's a uh, lost sight. Gone for the counter for that immediately. Uh, 
Oh, here waiting repairs. Is the tiger gearing up for another push? He has been very, very slow bringing his packs up in support of the tiger. It's one major mark against Kozen so far this game. Oh boy! Looks like the firefly just went down to the elephant. And it uh, seems like the axe is just completely in control now. Allies without large enough armies to effectively fight back. But yeah, I do. I, uh, Churchill Crocodile. If you can keep it away from the elephant, it's alright. Especially if maybe he brought it to the south to assist against the tiger double pack combo. That could be a nice move. Troops just charging forwards, but the flat pans are there. Not going to last long. Here we go. Fish ISU 152. Got the elephant S385 there, but smoking out. Looks like he was on the uh, high explosive again. Blasted down. 152. Finally moving now, but might go down here. One more shot needed. Now the tiger could be in trouble. Ram coming in. And the tiger goes down just like that. But did get a revenge shot off on the 152. Brought that into too close a range. Ends up going down. Unnecessary loss. s 5 looking for the panther. And gets that. And as I said once again. Kozen with no AT gun support. Have completely turned that engagement around. He just had packs for it. Capitalizing on the mobilized T-34 there. And uh, that might just about be it for the Allies. Here comes the anime without many resources and reserves. In fact, none of the Allies do have any longer. They're pushed all the way back. Triple cap draining, 126 remaining. And uh, as always, basically, makes this turnaround largely credited to the elephant, I would say. Not quite enough damage there to result in an engine critical. In trouble, fish tiger. There it goes, and the allies throw in the towel with that. Seemed like maybe these tanks got forwards. Did they kill the Katusha Knight still alive? GG, a really strong start from the allies. You know, they had that double half track play, locked down the territory really effectively. Kozen had quite a lot of trouble holding on in the south as well. But then on the back of this elephant, largely. Huge turnaround from the Axis. I thought maybe the Allies could hold on. The pack, I mean, pack 43, the uh, 17 pounder keeping the elephant at bay. But no, it wasn't the case. Gornyak suicidal with just about all his tanks. Not impressed there. Here comes the anime as well, doing a very poor job in the south with his tank combination. Should have been able to tame the tiger pack combo just constantly on the wrong form of ammunition sending in his infantry maybe a little bit too far ahead of his tanks so they're not there for spotting later on so we can't really uh, make use of the long range of his tanks that effectively and especially against Kozen who's was quite bad generally about bringing his packs up in support of his tanks which have been easy to exploit unfortunately it was not the case this game
Well, I'll wrap on that, guys. If you like your game to be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you off the next thrilling installment. Goodbye, and good luck.